So Cheer us on. Pray for us. Because <laughs> it's coming. People. All right, the time the time has come. Neither of us want to be back in here. This thing has been so like disheartening and frustrating. I, I think we need to like back up and like explain, talk about why why we, we haven't been working on this. Okay, so we're back up here for a second. Uh, well, part of it is we are doing this debt free. Mm -hmm. So it's all based on whatever cash is available at the time, mm -hmm. and you know over. Christmas and the end of summer and all that we didn't have a lot of cash available. Nope. We still don't but <laughs> But you know, it was kind of one of those like well Christmas is coming So let's put some money aside for that mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing uh, Number two we have been absolutely burned out completely After burned out the go 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 of being on the road Yeah, and basically here. We sit right now two years from the time we left right. California. It has been a roller coaster and we finally we hit the wall yeah we, we did we burned out i think we both really crashed this uh, summer youtube suffered yeah. um and it was basically we it's time to take a step back like yeah we need to get this going yes but for sanity's sake we need to stop and we need to sit down and we need to like just have a breather not worry about crazy projects for a yep. minute just because they're i don't know maybe it was like september it was towards the end of summer it started getting to where it was just like, I'm going crazy. Yeah. She was going crazy and we both burned out. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Let's slow down on YouTube a little bit because we're starting to not like anything. Right. We don't and... want to, you know, get our, our dream place and then hate it. So right. So we stopped. Exactly. We took a breather. And honestly, it's been wonderful. It was really, really good, especially December because we said no to everything. And it was really, really needed. And it was so good for us. So it was very needed. Having done that, having had our time off, not only from this, the mobile home in general, but like we've been doing the fun things like yeah. working in the garden and stuff like that. Everybody's like, why aren't you working on the house? Because we want to burn it to the ground. <laughs> and we're trying to resist the urge to do that. So we have had our time away. We have chilled, we have recouped, and we've actually like talked about the things we want to do in the mobile home mm -hmm. instead of, oh gosh, we have to go in there and we have to like rip up the floor and do all that. Now it's like, oh no, we want our living room to look like this, and we want the kitchen to look like that, and we want this and this and that. So it's been really good. So we are, we are here, we are back, we are about to get this monster. In done. the meantime, while it is sat here, it has basically just become a catch-all. It has. You know, a, People have given us things, and we've got things, and we shuffle one thing from here to there, and all of a sudden, like, there's no floor space. There's no. This thing is full. We should have been putting stuff in the barn. Right. But it's right here, so right. Let's throw it's it right here. Right, it's been super easy, and Bumblewood's been in here, mm -hmm. so it's been a whole thing. So, I mean, you can see we've got, like, food storage and, you know, odds and ends Just and junk. construction stuff. Yes. And, like, everything is gone in here, even the trees back there in the corner. <laughs> so have plants in our house so we have to before we can do anything else start cleaning start cleaning so we need to run to the store mm -hmm. and get some totes so that we have easily movable things we uh we love totes yes so i guess technically this is kind of like a spring cleaning video not necessarily a mobile home video but we are getting the ball rolling on the mobile home yes and like here pretty quick we're gonna move the soap room down to this corner right. and I'm gonna start ripping up floors and yeah. redoing floors. So yeah. like I've gotta get floors done in there so I can put the last two windows in so we can put the siding on. Right. It's all it's been it's a, a process. Thing. It's and been a thing. it's just been 
no mental space for projects. Right. And like, I finally got to the point where it was just like, I can't do this. Yep, like no more. Just took a step back and it's been really good. So like we said, we gotta go get totes. Let's go do that. And then we will start moving everything and talking about what's next. Yep. All right. All right, we back. So the plan is we're gonna start doing flooring in, well, what is the kids' room? It's a soap room right now. It's gonna be the kids' room. So we need to rip up the flooring, all the flooring here, and put a new subfloor. Yeah, subfloor, not flooring. Well, I mean, but it's gonna be flooring. That's what yeah. you walk on. So um, we need to move everything from that side to this side. So we have to clean up this side first so we can pull the stuff from that side to this side. So part of the stuff's going in the barn, what, you know, isn't needed right this minute, and then part of the stuff is gonna be moving. Basically dividing it into uh, things most used, yeah. and things you know seldom used. All the seldom used gets stowed. Right. To the barn. Like these blankets. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's get to it. This is gonna be fun. I don't like cleaning. It's not. It's not the cleaning. It's just like I want to grab the crowbar and the hammer. Right. But we have to do this first. Adulting, you know. <laughs> Yay, okay. Most, mostly clean. That side's mostly clean. So now we can start moving. This stuff that way. This side, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> um, so we had a viewer actually, a very, very sweet kind viewer. They just finished remodeling their house or building their house. And they had a bunch of stuff left over and stuff that they decided they weren't gonna use anymore. So they were like, hey, we have building supplies if you, if you need it. And kind of listed we'll out what they it. had. And it was like, yeah, actually we could use a lot of the stuff you have listed. So. They, uh, they came the other day and we now have quite a bit of cabinetry. We're not sure if we can use it in here yet, but if nothing else, we can use it like in the barn and in storage places and stuff like that. But yeah, we we're going to see if we, we can piece together. Figured out yeah. exactly where we want it. But then a bunch of insulation and some flooring material and fixtures and stuff. Stuff that we can use. Yeah, like we really like can use a lot of quick. it. So we got, but the problem is we just shoved it all in here. So now we got to move it from here and this, most of this will be going to the barn. Yeah. And then getting that out of the way so we can again rip up awful flooring. Hey, I'll be glad to have solid floor. Yeah. Because this stuff is so rotten. And it just like crunches holes in it everywhere. Yeah, there's so. certain places you don't step. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've learned how to walk around this place and I it would be nice if we could just walk freely. Hey, so. here pretty quick. It's all going to be all new, all one level. Wonderful. There's places in here where they just put new plywood over Sub the rotten yeah. instead of ripping out the rotten There's stuff. like yeah. steps and by levels. It's just, it's a pain. So anyways, we gotta move all this and then we'll get the soap room and get that moved over. So, yep. all right, I guess we We're, should. We're uh, burning daylight. Do you want a snack? I kind of want a snack. Uh, I could go for a snack. Yeah, hungry. <laughs> it's been like two, three hours. Since eating? No. Since breakfast. starting. Yeah, oh, since starting, yeah. Let's, okay, we'll be back. All right, break's over. Back to work. Alright, we are now moving Bumblewood, yay, from one side to the other. We were going to talk about that. Yeah, so we are not moving it to the farmhouse. Just, just yet. Not yet, there is a story. So, for those of you who have been watching for a while, you know, at least, what, six months? <laughs> Our plan was to move Bumblewood, my soap and skincare business, to the farmhouse and make that the studio. 
But there's a story. <laughs> So one of the storms we had this year, the power pole that was running the line to the farmhouse blew down, blew the line uh, to lay in our driveway. Oh yeah, it was a dandy storm. It was a dandy storm. So we called the power company and they came out and the guy was super awesome and super cool and he was like, hey, do you want me to, to like do this up right now? Like I'll have to call and get a new pole and all that or can I just take it down? And, and disconnect it. disconnect it and we're like you've got a bunch of other stuff like it was a big like, storm it was a big storm he had a lot of calls yeah so it was like don't worry about it it's all cool because he said just call mm -hmm. anytime and we'll run back out here and, and reconnect it so we're like okay cool we'll deal with it later no big deal except it was a big deal apparently because when i called and said hey we'd we like need our, pulse our power back <laughs> they were like oh no we don't do that I, mind you, I talked to seven different people before they finally got me to the right department. Mm -hmm. It was a thing. I, it was not, it didn't end well. So, long story short, we don't have the power back there. <laughs> well, it's, they gave us the whole song and dance of we have to get a permit, we have to get an inspection, right. all this stuff. And, and it's like, I was like, I just want you to hook, that was cockeyed, just sorry. Just hook the power back up. Like yeah. we, had a pole right. that blew down. Yes. And just, we we should have had the guy do we it right have. then and there. And I was like, no, I just need you to like plug it back into the house. And she's like, oh no, we, we don't do, do that. that. There's all this stuff okay, you have to do. Fine. So we don't have time to do that right nope, now. No, we got this to worry about. So it's like fine, we'll just leave it. We've talked about maybe temporarily running power. I've, uh, I've got enough power in the barn. Yeah. I could run enough over there. Yeah. And just you know, put in some conduit. It no problem at all. All we're running is a few lights, right. you know, maybe an AC, like, you know, a, like small a room AC, AC yeah. maybe yeah. a space heater in the winter. Basically uh, a dehumidifier, dehumidifier. you know, yeah. stuff like that. Nothing crazy. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be a giant thing. It just needs like enough power to run it, but it's like, we have to one deal with this. More thing. <laughs> yeah, so right now, Bumblewood is just getting shuffled from basically one corner to the next corner to the next corner, <laughs> and we'll make it work. So for everybody who's like, where's the soap? Right now it's on hold because we're doing this moving it my goal is to have soap ready again by the beginning of march uh, yes knock on all the wood um until then i do have some soap ends where are they they're over here some soap ends and stuff that i'm getting ready i'm Your putting samples? together some little sample pieces um and i'm hoping to get some of like the lip balms and deodorants mm -hmm. and stuff like that ready in the next few weeks so i will let everybody know when that's ready um, those of you who are on the mailing list will know before anybody and I'll, I'll pop a link to that below if you want to join. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just, it is what it is. We're making do because that's what we do right that's here. That's where we're at. <laughs> <laughs>the whole soap removed hey, but we're like most of the way there yeah we are we gotta figure out where to put the rest of the stuff that it's still accessible so i can make stuff so it's just a juggling act <laughs> it's quite a game and can't move to the barn because we don't have water out there right it's, so it's just yeah, like it's... okay so i could put in water in the barn we need climate control right okay well then we can insulate the farm well we need to insulate this right well, the farmhouse is insulated but there's no power there's water but no <laughs> yeah, so it's like... just like okay what is the greatest evil? Ray, it's ridiculous. So, like I said, we're just making do with what we got and we'll figure it out. It's all good. We're just, this is hey, life right now. It's all right. We did a ton today. We that did. That was a lot of stuff to move. It was. And cleaning. There's so much cleaning to it do because it's just, you know, a million projects that, you know, as they get finished, they don't get cleaned. And right. Just, uh, yeah. So, so we've made a ton of progress today. It's good. This is almost moved out so we can start ripping up the floors. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm actually really scared of what we might find under the floors. Oh, I know what we're going to find under the floors. I hope it's not like rotten floors. Actually, I've been under there. All of the floor joists are They are. Great. They're pretty solid. Like, yeah. There's a couple places where I pulled up the super rotten stuff and the joists are great. Yeah. So it's, it's just good. a matter of pulling up the particle board. Yep. And 
putting down new flooring. Like so, actual floor. Yeah, yeah. Nice sturdy sub. Exactly. Doesn't right. Give. Yes. So we're on our way. It's coming. All right, y'all. There will be a whole big series of this. So Cheer us on. Pray for us. <laughs> Cause it's coming. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.